Hi, we're here again with our favorite medical officer of health, Rosanna Salvatera from Peterborough Public Health. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, algal blooms. It's mm -hmm. a hot, dry season, as we all know, and it's the time of year when we uh, can see algal blooms in the water, and they can have health implications. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, blue-green algae? Well, I can. I mean, these are blooms that occur. The cyanobacteria cause them. They tend to be in waters that are brackish uh, and warm, so the heat certainly contributes. Uh, and, and they need to be fed. So typically the nutrients that uh, contribute to these blooms mm -hmm. are phosphorus or nitrogen. Uh, and which is one of the ways, one of the reasons why phosphates were banned in laundry sure. detergents uh, because of, of the impact on water. Right. So uh, from looking at a bloom, which looks like a slime kind of soupy thing, uh, you can't really tell if it's if it's the bacteria that are producing the toxins. Not all algae are bad. They don't. Yeah, not all are bad. Some do pr produce toxins. The sure. toxins are harmful in that contact with them are quite irritating. So if you swim through them, uh, you can have skin or eye irritations. But they're worse if you ingest them. Uh, and so, uh, in order to determine whether or not the bloom is toxic, uh, you need to contact the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change. Sure, because algae is a natural part of our environment, but mm -hmm. at elevated levels, hot conditions, you can have blue green algae, which is a skin irritant and mm -hmm. can cause a bunch of their neurotoxin as well. That's right, that's so. right. So, contacting the ministry, they will do the testing required. Our messaging at Public Health is if you see a bloom, besides calling, you know, avoid it as far as contact. But also, it's very important about you know, with your drinking water source. Mm. If you are taking water from the lake as your source, right. uh, and you have a bloom, we advise not to do that. And this isn't something that you can boil out of the water. You can't, right. you know, put it on the stove and then go, yeah, I'm going to be okay. You really have to find a substitute source of water. Absolutely, and drinking untreated uh, surface water is always a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. Water needs to be treated, uh, so and especially surface water. Uh, and there are uh, harmful, uh, harmful uh, or, uh, organisms in surface water that aren't receptive to chlorine. So filtration is an important part of treating surface water. So for cottagers who have municipal water supply or who have wells, uh, you know, drilled wells, they should be okay if there is a bloom on their lake. Sure. But for anyone who's taking water from the lake, they need to stop and they need to have an alternate source until they are assured that their water is safe. That's right, and as you said, just to say it again, traditional treatment will not deal with blue-green algae. No, the toxins are, you can't break them down, um, you, uh, you can't boil them away, they're in the water to stay. That water, if it has toxins in it, is harmful. Absolutely. Well, that's great tips and hopefully we can all do our part to avoid the phosphates and nitrogen by doing our good stewardship on the, on the water's edge. So thanks again for You're that important welcome. information. You're very welcome.